know who did win? That beautiful black woman named Coco Golf. 19 year old Coco Golf. Did you watch it, Ben? Uh, I watched a little bit. No, I didn't watch a lot. No, I watched Replay no? Pizza. Okay. Mm. Okay. My, I didn't watch it live either, but my father, he happened to watch it and uh, it was on his birthday. Your people and, are from South Florida, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's just like Co Coco was from uh, Boynton Beach. And uh, I just, I didn't watch live, but um, she goes, she currently attends the church that I used to work for, for like 10, 12 years, St. John and Boynton. So, and her grandmother, um, her grandmother was the first um, person to, she, Coco mentioned how her grandmother, Yvonne Oldham, was her inspiration and all these kind of things. So it's really a, a really big thing for South Florida. I know it's a big thing for the nation, but shout out to all the people in South Florida who have surrounded her and encouraged her. It's just a really great week for us. Yep. That's the crib, um, Palm Beach County. Shouts out to Palm Beach County. That's where I'm from. Uh, and we produce. Top notch. Top notch. You get, guess who else is from Palm Beach County? Say it. The Williams sisters, right? Um, that's where, well, that's where they resided, right? Mm -hmm. Palm Beach County. Um, those girls are from Compton, but father took them out to Palm Beach County. So we know that's where they the grew. Williams sisters, mm -hmm. they, you know, had residents there. So a lot of greatness. Okay, has been created, molded, built, helped push um, a lot of uh, out there in, in, in Palm Beach County. So fact, that's where Coco first saw Venus and Serena at the U.S. Open. That's what inspired okay. her in Palm okay. Beach County, Del Delray Beach, the tennis place spot mm -hmm. right down there in Delray. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's also where it houses the um, the 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 Orange Chief. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Our yeah. orange sheet. But well, they didn't have to go in a ruin. It's still, oh, you're right. It can't okay. always be 100. It can't all be right. good. Uh, it can't. Right. <laughs> so, Coco Golf won her first major title on Saturday at the U.S. Open, and this was last Saturday um, uh, at the U.S. Open with a two to six, six three, six two victory over Araya uh, Sabalneka. Uh, Sabalneka. Good luck. That's on you. I, I'm not even going to try. I apologize if I messed up her name because she's a great player too. Uh, but in front of an adoring crowd under the roof <laughs> on a stormy day, mm, they said when the clouds gathered together after the match, the 19 year old American uh, fell to the ground and lay on her back on the court before sobbing in celebration. This win is a win for us all. This is 19 year old where she, um, I actually have another clip that I wanna play where she actually lays down what the win was for her, what it yeah. was about for her, what it meant for her and why it was so important to her. Let's take a listen. Couple things I wanna say. Um, honestly, thank you to the people who didn't believe in me. Um, I mean, like, a month ago, I won a 500 title, and people said I would stop at that. Uh, two weeks ago, I won a thousand title, and people were saying that was the biggest it was going to get. Um, so three we like three weeks later, I'm here with this trophy right now. Um, so the <laughs> you know, I tried my best to carry this with grace, and I've been doing my best. So honestly, to those who thought we're who we. Those who thought who were putting water on my fire, you're really adding gas to it. And now I'm really burning so bright right now. Shine like like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Come on. Yes. Right? I feel like this is what it is right here. Um, because we watched her just, I think, a week before that, and the week before that, actually get ostracized for sharing her grievances wow. about the other player on That's the right. court who was getting right. special treatment, specialized treatment. And for her to have to speak out and not not look combative and not look, and at 19, she's still a young woman. She's still mm -hmm. growing up, right? Um, but to have to not look like, because they're going to perceive her as an angry black woman. Oh, she had right? that situation. Full grown. That's oh how that she would be perceived, right? So um, for her, she had to keep her demeanor calm. She had to, she had to know how to uh, give her wording in a way where I'm going to say what I need to say. I'm not going to hold back. Um, and we watched her go through that at 19 years old. That's right. 19 years old. As she played against somebody who got an opportunity to bend the rules. And she, let me tell you, this is a great example of how black people, period, and no matter what we yeah. do, have to work six times as harder, even though we can literally beat, excel, go farther, farther than the person that we're probably up against in the first instance and try, but we have to do six more jobs just to prove ourselves to be the greatest. 
although we already start off as the greatest, but that's okay. We'll take that challenge. Here she is 19 year old Coco Goff understanding her value and having her parents as a support system. And when they talk to her about depotent, <laughs> she let them know that she never had that because as much as they want to put her in the position where she came for like for her story to be that story of come up i already was up my parents took good care of me they right. trained me up to be who i am today i never went without and i never lacked yeah don't yeah. have that story i love I the way played. she the way she handled you brought the, the way she handled that situation with the judge that you just got through describing it, it really shows exactly what you're saying right she had to operate at a level of excellence in terms of her skill as a tennis player but then mm -hmm. like uh, I, an even higher level of excellence in terms of being able to navigate something that's clearly wrong being done to her but knowing full well that she has to say it with grace. She mentioned grace. She had to say it with patience. She had to literally carry that judge from the wrong that the, I wish we had that clip, right? It was just such a powerful moment. And you think about it, she's 19 years old. She's not only having to be a champion in terms of tennis, but she's having to be a champion in terms of just systemic problems in this country. And she navigated that so well. But again, that's what we, we expect from that. You know, it's just a, you got to know the family, man. The family is a really dope family. I didn't get a chance to know Coco. I left the church about 15 years ago. So she had to be, mm. what, she had to be four. So I never really mm. got a chance to even meet her or know her, but I, I, I know her family and they would, really would not have raised her any other way than being able to handle the mess that comes on and off the court. So shout out to her and her family. Yeah. And what's very also interesting is that there's a um, uh, video of her, I think, in about eight, nine years old, if I'm not mistaken, of her at a U.S. Open or somewhere between the ages of like eight and her um, preteen years where she's at the U.S. Open and mm -hmm. she's actually watching and cheering and excited. Uh, and then fast forwarding to her own moment, manifesting yeah. that into her reality. Yeah. And this is what I love to see. Uh, and that video was actually trending. But listen having the support system and not often i'm not saying that you know that this is something that we all get she was blessed enough to have that and there's nothing wrong with it she had parents who uh, made sure that she was raised well that she didn't go without and also supported her dreams supported her and continued to push her to her best and allowed her literally created her and, 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 and I love this, um, made sure that she knew how to be and speak in these places, uh, yeah. because of her greatness. Uh, yeah. and I love that. I love that. It yeah. still may be limited, um, where she can't actually share her grievances, the grievances, the way that she would like. Um, but the way that she does it, the way that she carries herself, I think is perfect. And I think oh, that it's this absolutely is absolutely perfect. Yes. Yeah. I think this is a great, um, Look, I sound like them old folks, but absolutely a role model for yeah. young black girls. The work that we're doing here is not going to stop when it comes to these type of discussions. It's going to be for us and by us here on this platform when the media is telling us to look the other way. Your support is what helps us move forward. Join patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Help us grow.